and you're very welcome to this conversation, which we are having this afternoon, myself and Dr. Brian Kelleher, um, from the Department of Physics, University College Cork. And this afternoon, we're going to talk about CK409. CK409 is our Bachelor BSc degree in Industrial Physics. So Brian, lovely to be in conversation with you this afternoon. How are you? Happy to be here. Great. So tell us, what is Industrial Physics? Well, Industrial Physics is the newest degree program we have in our department. Right. And it's, it's, the, um, it's the first joint degree program in physics nationally. So it's a, a joint degree with the Munster Technological University, MTU, which until recently was CIT, of course. And it's something that was really developed to combine the best elements of our fundamental physics degrees in UCC and some of the very applied industrially focused uh, degrees in CIT, uh, MTU now. And to take the most important elements of both and to have a program that's going to be supplying graduates with, you know, who are focused on industrial physics. So before we go a step further, if you were to explain to the listener, what actually is physics? Well, physics in some sense is the study of the world around us, you know, from the very small things like what are the building blocks matter up to the biggest things like black holes and cosmology in the universe at large. Uh, it can be very abstract and, and dealing with some, some very mathematical topics or it can be extremely applied and focus on things like lasers and the invention of lasers of course was something that happened through physicists and it's something that you know it's, it's really a study of why the world is the way it is how did the world get to be the way it is why does this happen why does that happen uh, and um you know the study from like i said the building blocks matter all the way up to the largest scales clearly somebody who's got a very curious mind yeah it's something that you know if i'm asked what type of people end up doing it? Well, it's people who love solving problems or thinking about puzzles, maybe hands-on or maybe not, maybe somebody who's very much into maths, but using maths for, you know, some analyzing something in the real world. Um, but it's, you know, people who have a curious, people who probably drive you mad asking, why is this, how does that work and so on. So do you have to study physics at secondary level before you can do industrial physics or can you enter the degree without having done um, physics in your leaving cert? You can enter without having done physics. Um, you will need a lab-based science, and, and very often, of course, it's somewhat unusual, I would say, for somebody to do it without having done physics before, but you can. And we don't assume that anybody has done physics when they come in. And when you come into first year, you're sharing the same physics modules as the people who come into CK408. So the people who come in for physics and astrophysics, you're taking the exact same physics modules as they are. And we start off assuming you don't know any physics. So the entry requirements for what's called CK408, which is physics and astrophysics, am I correct? Yeah. So that's physics and astrophysics. So you can graduate there with a degree in physics or a degree in astrophysics. And what we're talking about now is CK409, which is the degree in industrial physics. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Common uh, And the entry requirements are the same. The entry requirements are slightly different. Uh, but the details are, are really spelled out very well on the UCC website if students want to take a look. But th they're very slightly different, but very yeah. much the same. Yeah. I understand. Very similar. So, so how many years does it take to do a degree in industrial physics? It takes four years to do the degree. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, it's a joint degree. So you're kind of splitting your time 50-50 between UCC and MTU. But mm -hmm. it's not 50-50 all the time. It's... For the first two years, you're predominantly in UCC. So 75% or so of your modules will be in UCC mm -hmm. and you'll be learning all the fundamental physics things that our graduates or our students in CK408 would also be learning. And then as well, you'll have 25% or so of your modules in MTU. And these will be the things that are setting you up really for the industrial focused modules that you'll do later. So teaching you some elements of control and automation, things that are very important in industrial settings. And then in years three and four, the balance flips and you're 75% of your time in MTU. And you're doing their very, very industrial related projects, our modules, I mean, and projects. And you'll still be doing some of the fundamental physics things in UCC, but especially the things that make sense for industrial physics. So photonics, studying lasers, studying semiconductors and so on. Yes, exactly, exactly. So a four year degree. So is there a placement program? 
there is a placement in industrial physics, um, which we're very excited about. So you do this at the end of year three. Okay. So in third year in industrial physics, you finish up the year a little bit earlier than the than people doing other programs. You would finish up at the start of March and then you go on a 10 week work placement uh, in an industrial setting. And is the student prepared for that? The students are prepared, yeah. So at that stage, they will have done a significant amount of work. I mean, the, the CIT modules are, well, the MTU now, it's force a habit to be calling it CIT, but the MTU modules really prepare you extremely well for these. They have a long history of placements in, in their more traditional programs out there, and um, the students are very well prepared that they can actually go in and be of use immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, beforehand, of course, you must interview for the placements and so on, and, and they, they do provide some interview training beforehand as well. Are there mentors? They have, a, they have two mentors during their placement, so they'll have somebody who's a supervisor or a mentor in the industry, in, in the industrial setting itself, and they'll also have an academic mentor or supervisor uh, all who predominantly be based at MTU because this is a module coordinated by them. Can you give an example of the kinds of companies that the student could expect to be placed in? Yeah, there's an extremely wide range of companies and Cork is really rich in these companies. So like very common areas would be things like biopharmaceutical and, and chemical companies. So Pfizer, Eli Lilly, Janssen, places like this. Medical technology companies like Stryker and Boston Scientific. Um, and then instrumentation companies. So even industries who supply instrumentation for other industries. So places like Zenith and Rockwell. Uh, there's an absolutely enormous range of the companies mm -hmm. that are involved in it. But, um, and also a very strong history of employing physics graduates at large. So because they have a work placement and they're prepared for the work placement, there are probably employability skills built into the programme. But the very nature of physics itself, you could say, sets you up for good employment because the skills of critical thinking, for example. It's true. We would say that a lot of the skills you, you get here are kind of common to both our degree streams so the ck4a streams as well in that you get very you know you learn how to think independently you learn how to analyze data and solve problems but specifically in industrial physics there are modules which really are teaching you to say here is some you know unit and this thing controls something in, in an industry and you learn how to use these things and you learn a lot of IT skills that are very directly applicable to industry. So lots of these modules really are the types of things where you go into the company at the end of your four years and you're already employable. Mm. You know, if, if I wouldn't be surprised if the people who finish their placement would end up being offered summer positions, for example, that they'd be paid for the next few months. This is actually very common in the existing MTU programs that have had placements for years that the students will be offered a position for the summer. And very often they're told, you have a job with us if you want next year when you finish and you graduate, so. And are you interested in hearing from companies who might, who are not involved with you at present, but who might wish to be involved and take students at undergraduate? Absolutely, the, the, the more the merrier. There's a huge demand out there for, for, for students with these skills. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I can't ask you, of course, about, you know, where, where the, the, the graduates of, of industrial physics from Cork and um, what kind of jobs they go on to. But from your knowledge, uh, like do the other universities in Ireland off, uh, offer a degree in industrial physics? Specifically called industrial physics? I don't believe so. But there are, of course, other quite applied physics programs. So yes. some and many of the skills would be similar. But, you know, from the history of the types of jobs our physics and astrophysics students get, and from the history of the types of jobs that the instrument engineering and applied physics and instrumentation students in MTU get, I can be very confident of the types of companies that are going to employ our industrial physics, and physics students as well. And while the students are going through, um, they'd obviously be um, taught by people like you and your colleagues in the School of Physics here, and also in uh, the Department of Physics here, and also at MTU. What kind of research is being conducted in University College Cork that relates to the experience the student will have? Well, what, one of the main areas of research in our department in general is photonics, which mm -hmm. can be, which is the study of light and specifically using light for benefiting society in some sense, let's say. 
you know it's it's a play on like electronics where you use electricity in order to benefit in order to have technological developments that can benefit society at large and there's several photonics researchers in the department who are both in our department and also in Tyndall so I'm one of these people and we do research both in UCC and in the Tyndall National Institute and in fact the same is true for some of my colleagues in MTU they also have a bit of a, a significant presence in Tyndall National Institute mm-hmm. and studying photonics a lot as well there's also um what's the center for advanced photonics and process analysis so it's called kappa it's a center in cit or in mtu and um they are very much involved in the industrial physics program the people working there and they work with companies all the time we could have a company where they currently make a product and part of the testing of that product destroys the particular one that you're testing and they would come to kappa and say can we test this and analyze it without destroying it as well in the end? And Kappa will find solutions for this. So for absolutely huge companies, or they could be doing something you know, with a much smaller company over a much shorter period of time where they come in and they say, we have this little problem, we'd love to be able to solve it in the next few months, and Kappa will work on that as well. So they're both Kappa and Tyndall are very intertwined in both sets of departments and play a big role between projects and research and so on. And can I ask you, Brian, this might be a kind of more complicated question, and that is, so the company, a company, has an issue with a process, and they come to us here in UCC and MTU for solutions. So if there's anybody listening out there who's got a very curious mind and who's intrigued by how the world works, I think this degree, which is, um, which is new on the books, um, is very exciting. And I think obviously the collaborative nature between two very um, significant institutions here in this region is also um, significant. And um, I would encourage people to really pursue it, take a look. I think, as you said at the top of the conversation, that individuals who pursue physics really have to, you know, have to have this curiosity and this interest. And I think that somebody who has that would be well um, got to find their way to University College Cork Department of Physics. I agree. So wishing you and your colleagues continued success and thank you very much for having this conversation with me. My pleasure. Thank you, Jean. Take Thanks. care. Employability and career development initiatives are delivered through curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Over 90% of our programmes offer placements internationally and nationally. Throughout your time in UCC, you will have the opportunity to develop employability skills through entrepreneurship modules, skill sessions, and memberships of club societies, becoming a class representative, and getting involved. Throughout your student journey, UCC Career Services will support your career planning with one-to-one career consultations and coaching. The Career Services collaborate with academic departments and other UCC units to deliver bespoke and standalone employability and career-related workshops and events for all students and recent graduates. Our annual recruitment fair is one of the largest national career fairs featuring up to 100 top graduate employers. For more information about UCC employability initiatives and the career services, visit ucc.ie forward slash careers.